Nationwide final preparations are underway for New Year's celebrations with two major concerns topping the list, weather and security. For the country's largest New Year's event in New York's Times Square, please say they're deploying more technology than ever to keep crowds safe. Here's Lionel Mouiz. This morning, as we prepare to count down to 2026, Three, two, one. law enforcement is preparing to use artificial intelligence to enhance security in Times Square, where more than one million people are expected to gather for the ball drop. They've enhanced both using um, uh, video and AI surveillance of the Times Square area to know what's going on, to have real-time intelligence determining where people are, who's coming through the crowds. If anything happens, they're immediately able to zoom in on it and they're able to send in police, FBI, SWAT teams, emergency medical services. Police can use that information to deploy help in a medical situation or if there's a security threat. There is AI that can determine if somebody's uh, acting aggressively, if somebody pulls a weapon. Some of the technology now can, can zero in on that weapon. Uh, and determine, you know, is it a knife, is it a, uh, a handgun, is it a long gun? And new in Times Square this year, secondary screening. So we will have mobile screening teams walking around the pens, and if we see anything that looks suspicious, we will have teams in place to do appropriate screening. Meanwhile, in New Orleans, after last year's attack on New Year's morning that killed 14 people, National Guard troops will now be patrolling the French Quarter. I still feel a lot safer having them here. In Atlanta, officials have scrapped the city's peach drop and will instead spread the crowd out with a massive drone show. Across many parts of the country, weather could be an issue. In the upper Midwest and Northeast, high winds and feet of lake effect snow. In Franklin County, Georgia, winds blowing this small plane off a runway. And in Southern California, winds hampering search efforts on Mount Baldy, where three hikers were found dead. Back in the Northeast, a plea for help after recent snow caused the roof of this New Jersey animal shelter to collapse, leaving 30 dogs displaced. The sheer amount of dogs that need to be fostered, we, we don't have that kind of uh, supplies on hand. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.